There are a lot of great wallets that support ADA. In this video, we are going to dive deeper into the Eternal wallet. This wallet is a favorite amongst the community and we'll take a closer look at some of its unique features. So jumping right into this video today, what we have here is the Eternal wallet pulled up on my computer. This is from the previous lesson where we went through the process of creating the wallet. We discussed the difference between a public and private key, as well as some of the other different wallets which are available for ADA. This video today specifically is gonna be looking at Eternal as this is the wallet which we'll use throughout the entire course of this content. What we have in terms of the UI, we have at the top left the ability to add wallet, which is where we can then either create a new wallet, restore an existing wallet. So let's say if you already have a seed phrase, you can import that into Eternal Wallet and you can do that with really any wallet. So like, let's say for instance, a lot of people may have created a Daedalus wallet, but they really see the advantages of having a light client as well. So you can have your wallet in Daedalus, but then you can also use the restore wallet feature to import your seed phrase and then also use the light client for Eternal. So cool stuff there. You can also connect a hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor, or you can import. We have our wallet here already in terms of what we're looking at in terms of the main page. You've got the account. You can have multiple accounts with one wallet. So if you go to account list, you'll be able to see this account. So it's great for, say for instance, if you wanted one account, which will have all of your tokens, another account, which has all of your NFTs, or you know, delegate to different stake pools, things like that. You've got a summary. So this right here on the right is a rewards history, basically a dashboard showing you how much ADA that you've earned. You've got the total funds for this account showing you your balance in ADA. Token list gives you a list of all the native assets, either tokens or non-fungible tokens. UTXO lists as well, basically showing all the unspent transactions of this wallet. Transactions is gonna be just basically a list of your transaction history. You can see completed transactions as well as pending transactions send and receive. So that's basically going to allow you to send assets to another wallet. Basically, you would put in a receiving address, type in which assets you would like to send and how much, and then enter in a spending password to confirm the transaction. One thing that's really cool about Eternal is that they've actually partnered with MuesliSwap, one of the decentralized exchange projects on Cardano to integrate this token swap feature directly into the wallet. And then we'll go to receive, which is the next option in the wallet. You can copy this public address. This is your public key, basically allowing you to receive any assets to this wallet. Staking, so it's got a staking center built right into it. We're gonna look at some of these different parameters for stake pools coming up in a future lesson. So make sure you stay tuned for that so you can learn more about all the different stake pools which you have available to choose from. Next is voting. So this is going to be related to Project Catalyst. Again, will be covered in a future lesson. And then next is settings. So it's a very straightforward layout. You can of course choose between light and dark mode, which is nice. I'm a big fan of the dark mode. I think it really does save the eyes. Lots of cool options to go through here in settings. Uh, one of the most important, which we will take a look at is collateral. So collateral is something that you will need to set in a wallet, which you're going to use to connect to different dApps. It's very straightforward in terms of how you would do so. We would simply toggle this, type in our spending password, it'll confirm a transaction, we'll be able to start using the wallet for different dApps. But first things first, now that we've gone through an overview of what we're looking at here in terms of the user interface, we need to go ahead and send this wallet some ADA. So what we'll need to do is let's head over to our Coinbase. This is the same account which we had used to go through the process of purchasing our first ADA coins. And then from here, we'll need to go ahead and click on send and receive. This is going to prompt us of uh, what we'd like to do here. In this case, we're gonna be sending some ADA to our eternal wallet. So it says pay with Cardano. We'll go ahead and send all. And then in terms of what we'll enter into this field where it says two, we need to go ahead and paste in our public address. So let's go back to eternal, click on receive, copy this public address. Great way to be able to ensure that you've copied this correctly. Just make sure you see that copy to clipboard option. But then I'd like to also take a look ADDR1 should always be what's at the beginning and then always taking a look at the last four UWGN in this case. So let's just make sure we've pasted that in correctly. ADDR1, UWGN as the last four. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and click on continue. 
And then it's gonna prompt us with a overview of the transaction. In this case, we can see the amount in dollars as well as ADA, where we're gonna be sending this to small transaction fee and the total. So let's go ahead and click on send now. And then it's gonna ask us to verify this transaction using the Google two-factor authentication app. So we've went ahead and confirmed the code using Google two-factor authentication. We can see the transaction confirmation. So we've sent this amount of ADA to our public address. This is gonna take several moments for the transaction to be validated by the blockchain but essentially what we'll see pop up in our wallet, we click on transaction is going to be that amount of ADA. Wow, that was actually really fast as I'm recording. So 19 ADA just popped up in our wallet. Incredibly fast, you guys can see in real time, you know, it took a matter of a few seconds for us to see that in our wallet. This 19 ADA is now available to use within our wallet. So very cool there, you know, it's just a matter of making sure that you are copying the uh, public address incorrectly for the wallets, typing in the correct spending passwords, you know, just making sure that you're going slow throughout the entire process. I know a lot of times, especially when I first was getting started, it was kind of nerve wracking, you know, going in and typing in the spending password and then making sure I copied in the public address. I would say just go slow with it, take your time. When in doubt, you can always just go back and double check yourself. It's just a good best practice, especially as we start to move up and deal with larger amounts of crypto. So that's pretty much it in terms of being able to get the wallet funded getting it set up where you know we can now use some of this ADA. We can see that the transaction shows that the confirmation is low, but still validated by the blockchain. We've got a timestamp showing the date and time, as well as the amount of ADA. So now that we've added some funds into our wallet, now we need to be able to use this wallet to interact with different dApps on the blockchain. So what I'd like to show you next is how to go about the process of setting collateral and being able to use this wallet to connect to different dApps like uh, DEXs, and NFT marketplaces on Cardano. So in the settings, we see the collateral option. What we'll need to do in order to be able to use this wallet for different dApps is toggle this feature on. It says interacting with smart contracts needs collateral inputs, set one here. So we found a collateral UTXO for this account. It'll be used when interacting with smart contracts. So in this case, because it's a fresh wallet, we're good to go. We simply just toggle this feature on and we'll be able to start using it with different applications. However, you may need to, depending on how many UTXOs are contained within your wallet, type in a spending password and then just confirm a small transaction, which will set aside a number of ADA to be used as the collateral UTXO for different dApps. So now that we've enabled this feature, that's pretty much all we need to do here. And then we need to click on this plug icon. So what this means is it's going to be your dApp connector, basically just showing you that this is the wallet which will be used whenever you sign into like say an NFT marketplace or a, a DEX. This green dot indicates that this is that specific wallet. So if you have multiple wallets in Eternal, you know, you can see that this green dot indicates this is what's used for different applications. But that is essentially a brief overview of the Eternal wallet. Stay tuned as we go through the process of learning more, delegating to a stake pool. We'll talk about how to go about voting using this wallet. So lots of cool stuff coming up in future lessons. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Another great way to help support the creation of this content is to delegate to Kaizen Stake Pools. Join us for our next episode of the Cardano 101 course. We're gonna learn how to set up a Ledger hardware wallet to secure our crypto assets. I'll see you there.